Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ashley Evans and you're watching Black Onyx, bringing you face to face with some of South Africa's leading asset managers. And today I'm joined by Paul Robinson, who is a portfolio manager at Lorium Capital. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, pleasure. Where are you seeing the most interesting opportunities on the continent? So from a, both a growth point of view and a valuation point of view, we think Egypt looks particularly attractive right now. They've just gone a, undergone a massive IMF reform program. They, unlike a lot of these African countries, they took their medicine. They, they brought in the IMF and IMF. They listened to exactly what they said and they enacted exactly what was required of them by the IMF. And it's been a huge success. I think Egypt's going to be, uh, right now, if the IMF was to have a poster child to show exactly what they can do when they come into a country, Egypt would be it. Um, so you've got strong GDP growth. You've got company earnings that are growing kind of in the, in the mid-teens towards the 20%, and valuations are still lower than they have been on average over the last seven years or so. So we like Egypt. We like the mid and small cap space in Morocco. Morocco generally is quite overvalued at the moment, um, but in the mid and small cap space, you get a lot of, like the rest of Africa, you get a lot of companies that are, let's just say, undercovered. There's no analysts, sell side analysts that cover them. So if you get in there, spend time on the ground. I, I spent a month in Morocco a few years ago, just hired an Airbnb, literally scoured the streets. Uh, yeah, there's some, some good op opportunities in that, in that smaller and mid cap space. Nigeria and, and Kenyan banks are looking pretty cheap at the moment. Nigerian banks, some of them you're getting dividend yields of more than the government bond. and they are growing, not, not massively. Nigeria is still struggling to come out of its 2017 crisis, but they are growing. And Kenya has started to grow again. The Kenyan banks specifically uh, went through a couple of years of no growth, but they're starting to grow strongly again now. And they're on very cheap valuations. Again, kind of cheaper than they have been in, in the last decade. And then I think uh, another place where we are seeing, it's not it's not equities, uh, but fixed income is also a growing space and there's some interesting opportunities in Africa. Uh, just a couple of stats, for example, the sovereign dollar bonds in Africa, euro bonds. In 2006, there was one, there was $500 million total outstanding. There's now about $100 billion. So from half a billion dollars to about $100 billion dollars if you include the supranationals, the likes of African Development Bank. So you've seen strong growth on that side. And then right now we're seeing some interesting opportunities in local currency fixed income, uh, Nigeria and Egypt specifically. So yeah, those are the things we, we're most excited about.